Good morning, I am Sadri and to, for today I will discuss to you the God Sidle and in Excel and how to get easily the first iteration to fifth iteration. XYZ. Okay. So first uh we have a problem here and before we before I discuss it, uh, let's first go to the notes. So always arrange in here. Always arrange a problem where x should be greater than the sum of x and y y should be greater than the sum of x plus c and c should be greater than sum of x plus y so yeah kailangan natin siya i-arrange dito no so arrange muna natin siya so yung x natin sabi niya dapat greater than sum of x plus y so as you can see here pag pinag plus natin daw si x si y plus z hindi naman daw greater si x doon so, kailangan natin siya i-arrange. At ang pwede sa kanya is yung nasa second line, which is yung 19, 13y plus 4c. Kasi pag pinag-plus natin yung 13 plus 4, equals 17. So, mas greater pa rin si y. Okay? So, yan. So, arrange natin. Lagay natin dito si 19, negative 13, 4, tapos yung constant natin na 111. So, next is y should be greater than the sum of y plus z. So, yung nakikita kong maganda ilagay dito is yung nasa unang problem natin which is kasi pag pinag-plus natin c4 tsaka c13 mas greater, than, mas greater pa rin si 22. Okay? So, lagyan natin dito si 4 22 tsaka negative 13 Tapos yung constant nila na negative 1, 2, 8. Next, ayan, uh, yung z natin, greater, greater than the sum of x plus y. So, pag pinag-plus natin x plus y, mas greater than pa rin si z. So, okay na yan. Tapos yung constant natin, yan. So, automatic, no? may formula na ako dito nilagay. Ni ready na. So, yan. Papakita ko na lang sa inyo para pagbasihan kayo. Ayan. So, sige. Pwede nyo muna i-post tapos i-copy-paste nyo muna. Okay. So, ngayon, didiscuss ko uh, bakit nga ba tayo nagalagay ng dollar sign? So, napaka-importante ng dollar sign no? kasi oras sa may dollar sign tayo, yung formula natin dyan na E10 which is dito Diyan lang talaga siya. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya gagalaw. Kasi oras na dinaragdown natin ito pababa, tapos wala siyang dollar, a-adjust na a-adjust yan. So, yung E10 natin magiging E11, E12, yan. So, para mag-stack lang siya dyan, kailangan natin siya lagyan ng dollar sign. Maglalagay tayo ng dollar sign sa before the letter and second is before the number. Yan. So, as you can see, dalawa yan. So, yan. So, for the formula for the y, ayan, pwede nyo muna i-copy, i-post nyo muna. Ayan. Next. Okay, so, ayan. Yan talaga yung, ano nyo, pinaka-standard formula base nya. Ngayon, yung, yung, ano natin, zero iteration natin, which is yung initial value natin, zero, zero, zero. Ayan. Okay. So, pa how, para makuha na natin yung second to fifth iteration, kailangan lang natin siya i-drag down. Ganyan. Ayan. So, ayan na talaga yung... Ito na yung mismo buong form first iteration to fifth iteration. Ito na yung final answer natin. Ayan. Ang easy, di ba? Basta take note nyo lang lagi yung dollar sign kasi napaka ano nyo yun. Pero hindi nyo kailangan maglagay ng dollar sign dito ha. Kay C17, kay D17, hindi nyo kailangan maglagay ng dollar sign dyan. Okay? So, yun. That's it. So, I hope na may natutunan naman kayo yung bago and easy way to find the answer of those sides easily. Thank you and have a nice day.